But wait, wait, wait. Before I get into this video, this video has been lovingly brought to you by Galmon, who sent me another tablet. It is the PD1560, and it is a beautiful tablet. It is professional quality, absolutely stunning. It comes with a 15.6 inch display. It has 8,192 levels of pen pressure. That's insanity. That like that, that competes with Wacom, and Wacom's like, you know, the, the big dog, but like, no more. Uh-uh, Gaumon's coming for your brand. As we all know, I am essentially a big simp for Gaumon, and I absolutely love their company, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys were to check out the links below for Gaumon and all of their stuff. Right now they are having a big, beautiful sale, so I highly recommend going and checking out the links and buying a tablet if you got the money, because it's totally worth it. I currently have five friends who are using Galmon products and they all absolutely love their brand, they love their company. It is probably one of the nicest companies I've ever had the pleasure of talking to. Dora, you're amazing. She is the one who has been sending me the tablets and talking to Galmon and being my, represent my representative for the company. And I just, I love her. She's amazing. So let's get into the video and I will talk more about the tablet towards the end, but just know Come on. I love you. You're amazing. Oh, yee-ha. Hello there and welcome back my cuties. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, I drew this on the PD1560 from Gaumon and it- oh god, I love that tablet. It's so good. I use this tablet on like everything. Um, and I- I- I'm in love with it. I'm sorry. I just- it's really good. <laughs> I highly recommend it. Anyways, so. Recently in the art community, there's been this really fun challenge called the Art Bin Challenge, and I'm like, I want to do that. That sounds super fun. I realized something, though, <laughs> while I was working on this. So, I don't really know what my art style is. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to be honest. And so I was asking on Instagram and Twitter, I'm like, hey, yo, what's my art style? Because I, I draw drastically different. I have, like, multiple art styles. I have, like, um, a... I have a more cutesy one, I have like, you know, a softer one, I have, you know, a more realistic one, I just, I just don't know. So I picked my more like, average normal one that I do, you know, for a lot of my main art. Uh, so that's this, that's what I'm drawing right now. I thought it would probably be easier if I start with drawing like my actual normal art style versus just jumping right into something that I don't know. The character I am drawing, her name is Lilith. She is a character from my comic that I am working on. I can't really say much about her character, sadly, but I realized um, something when I was working on this. A lot of people said that I have extremely muted colors, and I agree. I have a very muted color palette when I do art. And I picked probably the worst character to do the art bin because her, her color scheme, as you can probably see, is black and white. It's just a whole lot of black and white. I was originally going to draw Adara, the uh, redheaded character you see that I've drawn a few times, but um, and I was like, you know what, let's draw a different character. Let's do somebody else. I really like Lilith. I don't draw her enough. She's super cute. And then I drew her and I realized as I was like lining the art later, I'm like, oh no, I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> so, but... It was a good challenge to try and figure out how to make black and white more vibrant and colorful, so I feel like I did a pretty decent job at that. It was just, man, what what a combo. What a, what a terrible character to pick for this very specific challenge. So, as you can see, uh, still working on the sketch, still doing the thing. My art, I found, is quite round. Um, a lot of people said that I do very round shapes, which I didn't really think about until I was like really trying to break down how I draw and everybody was completely correct. I do very soft rounded shapes. I don't do a lot of very harsh shapes. Even in the hair, it's very floaty and like rounded. Um, a lot of people said that I draw very detailed hair, which was very interesting. Um, soft, very, very soft shapes. And now here we are on to the Artist Ben challenge um, and doing that. So again, I took the original, you know, soft one and I'm like, alright, so very sharp jagged shapes, very cartoony comparatively. Um, I was thinking like doing more anime inspired, but then like, wait, no, my art style is already pretty anime inspired. Like, no, that's stupid. So very sharp, very pointy. 
A lot of people said this reminded them of Panty and Stocking, which I can completely see. Uh, it also reminded me a lot of my friend Star's art, who has a very nice, sharp, pointy art style. Very good. 10 out of 10. Man, I love their art. The hair, I think, gave me the most trouble, because I didn't really know how to make hair, like, just pointy. And again, picked probably one of the worst characters for this, because I, I draw a lot of, like, wavy hair and, like, curly hair. And... Uh, Lilith doesn't have, like, spiky hair. She has just very soft hair, so I, I was really struggling with that. Line art was a lot of fun, I would say. I don't really do thick lines, typically. I like to keep my lines quite thin, which um, I didn't really think about. I didn't, I didn't think I did very thin lines until, again, I was breaking down the shapes of my art. And yeah, I do pretty, th I do pretty thin lines. This was so much fun. I also tried to make it, like, not as clean. Like, as you can see, it's it's still kind of, like, messy, quote-unquote, like, around some of the areas. I could have probably made it cleaner, but my line art is pretty clean, and I thought it'd be more fun to add kind of, like, a like a funky, uh, not-as-clean look to it. I don't know. Does that make sense? Maybe it doesn't. I tried. It also made the process a lot faster if I didn't make it as clean, um... Otherwise, I think I would have spent, like, a ridiculous amount of time on this. I really actually like how the line art came out on this piece. It was something I've never tried before. I don't usually do really, like, sharp, jagged shapes. So doing that was- it was just so much fun. And it, it reminded me a lot of, yeah, like, panty and stockings with the really nice, sharp, crisp line art. And, again, my friend Star, who has really nice, crisp line art. It was- it was also kind of a big question of, like, how much- how much detail do I add to this? Because her outfit's pretty simplistic, but she has a lot of, like, small details on it, so that was really fun to mess with. And then, moving swiftly onwards to my normal style, as you can see, quite thin line art. I have this one brush that I really like that I do for line art now. Um, it's kind of textured um, a little bit. I like to do more textured line art, which you don't usually see um, unless you zoom in, because I use just absolutely massive canvas sizes. And I, I prefer it that way because then you can't see the texture as much, but when I'm doing the liner, it, it just it just looks better when I'm doing it. And you see more of your mistakes when you're only on the line art phase anyway, so you know, just it just makes me feel calmer. I recently started drawing noses like slightly different. And I don't know if you guys really noticed that. Probably not. I did. Um, and I just I really like how I draw them lately. They're, they're very cute to me. They're just little, little, little boopable boop, 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 snoops. A lot of people also said that I drew very like um, pointy eyes, wide pointy eyes, which they're so right. Oh, and eye bags. I, I asked on Twitter the other day, I'm like, what's like the thing you draw in all of your art that you just feel wrong when you don't add? And mine was line art. No, pfft, sorry. Mine was eye bags. Line art, god, I'm stupid. Mine was eye bags. Like, when I'm drawing, like, real people, like YouTubers and stuff, and I start adding the eye bags, I'm like, wait, hold up. I shouldn't do this. They're probably gonna be offended, but it just feels wrong when I don't add eye bags, which you probably saw on the other one that I didn't add eye bags. And yes, it felt wrong. I'm like, wait, how- what? Eye bags? Huh? And I feel like that's just like a part of my style at this point is just excessive eye bags. It, and, and like, I, it's all my characters that also just are really tired all the time, but like, it's just like become like what I do. I believe next is trying to figure out the colors, which I was staring at. This was around the time that I'm like, oh, I goofed up. I goofed up really bad. I, so I colored in um, Lilith and all of her like basic colors again the entire time I'm just thinking, wow, I'm, I'm stupid. Why did I pick her? Out of all the characters I have, I picked the one character that's entire color scheme is black and white. Really? You have, I have so many. I could have picked Rylan who's, you know, green and like bright colors mostly. I could have picked... Jasper, who's blue, like, no, I had to pick the one OC that I have that's entire color scheme is black and white. I'm so dumb. On the bright side, though, it was really fun drawing her hair. Her hair's so cute. I love her. Um, but 
Also, because it's black and white, I think it was more fun to kind of mess with it because if you've noticed in my art, I never use solid whites. I don't. I don't like using pure white in my art unless it's like an accent color or um, the highlights in the eyes, you know, stuff like that. So it was a lot of fun to try and figure out like how to do that and how to make it more vibrant and colorful while being limited to such like a, a muted um, monochrome palette. Like the most colors in her color scheme are the um, like teal blue eyes, the teal eyes and the teal like brooch thing. So for her, um, I used like this really pretty dark blue color, I think, like a navy blue, I don't know. Which I see a lot of cartoons do when they don't want to use pure solid black for um, a character. Which is smart since in animation you don't want to use like really really dark colors because it just won't show up as well on like TV. So that's what I did. Um, which I think it turned out really really nice when I did that. Um, it, it just looked, I don't know, pretty. Also very vibrant teal colors. I was really debating on what to like do to shade the eyes, so I did the thing that Star does in their art, which is like this really pretty like bright blue under the eyes, like for the white colors. I also was debating on what to do for shading, because everybody said I did very soft shading. I do like do sh uh, cell shading, and I can. I just don't do it very often, because I don't know, I just, I just don't like to do it. It just kind of bores me. So I tried to do cell shading. Honestly, Looking back, I probably should have tried doing like uh, cross hashing shading as well with the cell shading um, for, I don't know, just some fun textures, but I, I didn't know what to do. I, I was struggling a little bit trying to figure out how to, how to shade this gal. I also did, um, as you probably just saw, I did like a, a light color on the inside for the black colors because I see a lot of cartoons do that. Um, like, you know, Kim Possible and stuff, I think she had, um, light colors for her black outfit. And then we're just promptly moving on to shading the normal art style, which is a very soft shading. I... I like to use, um, like a purple when I shade. If you're curious, I was on the multiply layer for all of the shading on all this. Um, and then I like to use this, like, sh this soft purple color and then, like, um, a red orange's color for the outline to give it just like a bit of dimension for fun. Um, for the other one I just used a blue. I don't know, it just looked good. I, I tried out a few different colors but her, again, her color scheme is so like dark and like monochrome that it just nothing looked good. <laughs> and since I was already like kind of shading in like a lot of whites, I, it just felt smart to use blue. But for my normal alt style I use this kind of like nice purple color and I was just trying to avoid the purple that I typically like to use and the um, like reddish outline on the shading to um, give it give it some depth, give it some life. I started doing that as of late in some art style because I saw a lot of other artists do it and I'm like, wow, that's so smart. That's ingenious. You guys, biggest brain I've ever seen. I'm also just adding in some darker areas in the shading and then shading the hair and I didn't really shade the hair a lot. Uh, also some blues uh, inside of the shading to again give some more dimension as you can see. And, highlights and just just all the fun things and this is kind of kind of where we were kind of the uh, the product and then I just you know shrink it and made it have a background character added be the hair the highlights I can't talk today good lord and wrote down the, the things that I, I thought about and yes that that is the art challenge I think I did pretty good uh, let me know down below what you think. Because maybe, maybe I just goofed up real bad and I just did a terrible job. I really like how the other uh, art style challenge, art style came out. And I thought it was just a lot of fun to work on. I don't really do a lot of videos like this, but I want to do more in the future. Because it's a lot of fun, even if I'm not that great at doing voiceovers yet. Uh, practice, I guess. As I said, we are going to talk about the tablet that I used to make this. It is the Gammon PD1560. It is a 15.6 inch display, it has left hand support, it has 8192 levels of pen pressure, and when you hook it up to your computer you can use it as a second monitor, which is what I do, so I can work and watch Critical Role while I'm doing my art things. Because who doesn't, who doesn't want to do that? I do. I want to do that. 
I have been absolutely in love with this and I've been using it to make some fun little little TikToks uh, on the internet, which you can follow if you want, you don't gotta, but like, it's, it's there. As I have said, I am essentially just in love with Gaumon at this point. The biggest Gaumon simp there ever was. They have such amazing tablets, they are extremely affordable, and like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a huge sale going on for Gaumon products, which links will be down below. The screen is super super nice, super beautiful, the colors are super vibrant and gorgeous and just, just, oh my god. Comparatively to my last tablet that I used, um, which was a Parblo tablet, no ability to change the brightness or the saturation, anything like that. However, on the Gaumon PD1560, you can do all of that fun little things. It's pretty easy to navigate. Um, it took me just a, a little bit of trial and error to figure it out, but now it's, it's so easy. And if you want your thing to be less bright or more bright, then you can do that if you're like me and have very sad, sensitive eyes, which is great. It doesn't affect the saturation, it just makes it less bright for you to look at, and I think that's a really nice feature for people like me who get migraines pretty chronically from overly bright screens, but our job is, you know, drawing. It's a super affordable, beautiful tablet, and I honestly cannot recommend it enough. It also has a really nice uh, back part on it where you can adjust the height and it competes honestly with Wacom products that don't even have that like there's like three settings you can change it to and this one lets you change it to whatever you want so if you just want it to be bent down a little bit or a lot you can choose that it is highly recommended and I think everybody should go and look at Gaumon products thank you guys so much for watching it just it means a lot to me you're so great thank you I'd love to give a shout out to my Patreons. We got our $10 tier of Baryonyx, Nightmares, Strong Killies, and our new one, Raccoon Arts. Hello! We have our $30 tier of Lei, and our beautiful, stunning $60 tiers of Noah and Dawn. Hello! Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be able to see videos early or you want to have your name called out at the end of the video, or you just want to support me, maybe consider joining and becoming a patron. You don't gotta, but like, you know, if you want to. That's where I have been posting my comic pages and all the other things that I just yeet over there for the people that want to see it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, night, day, wherever you are, and hey, remember, drink some water. Bye!